In 2019, our team fitted four young greeter spotted eagles with GPS GSM tracking devices. These devices determine the bird's location and transmit it through cellular network. One of the four eagles, named Dandelion, showed an interesting and unusual migration route. So we'll focus on this bird. Normally, greater spotted eagles migrate to the Middle East and Africa for wintering. All of our eagles did it in their first winter. When spring came, our dandelion returned to the same locations where it was born a year ago, to Crayland Nature Reserve and its surroundings in Russia. But it didn't stay there and began exploring what is in the neighborhood. We track that eagle to see which locations it prefers and what other birds are there. By the end of summer, Dandelion moved north towards the town of Bezhetsk and stayed there for some weeks. There are broad grain fields and very wet and swampy forests around, so it is an ideal location for a greater spotted eagle. But not only our Dandelion appears to be here, this place is definitely a stop oversight for many species of birds. Lapwings, storks, cranes and many others could be seen here in big groups. And a lot of diurnal raptors cattle in the air and rest on trees and fields. It's not an easy task to find one certain bird in all this chaos. Despite being fitted with a tracker, our eagle moves fast and the device is of little help now. But let's look closer. Do you see something on the bird's back? Let's slow down a bit. Yes, it's a tracker. So that is our dandelion. It's the first time I met the bird again since we put the tracker on it. When we last met about a year ago, Dandelion was just a fledgling, and now we see a strong and beautiful eagle. Our Dandelion showed us a new and earlier unknown autumn stopover site. But where will it fly? Will it be the Middle East again? The answer was no. Unexpectedly, the eagle decided to stay at North Caucasus, in the Republic of Adygea. It spent the whole winter there, in the broad valley of the Kuban River, which is very unusual for the species. The winter in Adygea, where eagle dandelion stayed, was unusually cold, but the bird successfully tolerated frosts of up to minus 10 degrees centigrade. In spring, we decided to inspect that wintering site. It was near the Adygean settlement Tahtamukai. In March, Adygea's forest floor is covered with flowers, and the wintering site of our eagle turned out to be harvested rice paddies and winter cereals fields. And it also appears as a stopover site, but this time for birds migrating in spring from the south back to the north to breed and nest. The location is also very crowded. Many birds are seen in the sky, and lots of them are birds of prey. It will be as hard to find our dandelion among them as it was in autumn. Harriers, buzzards, kites, and various eagles are everywhere. They cattle in the warm air and hover over the ground. There are plenty of prey here, and it probably explains why there are so many raptors. Some of them could be mistaken for our eagle. Even the white spot on the back looks similar, but closer look reveals it's not our bird. After extensive search, it seems that our dandelion is finally found. The tracker on its back is clearly visible. 
the eagle looks more mature than it was in autumn. Now it is almost two years old. In a year or two, Dandelion might find a mate, build a nest and start a new dynasty. Even now, Dandelion already revealed two earlier unknown stopover sites to us. It survived the most dangerous period and appears to be in good condition. While two of four eagles in this project are already dead, one being killed by power lines and another by some infection. The first year of life is the most dangerous period for young and unexperienced greater spotted eagles. Let us hope that everything will be good with Dandelion and someday we'll know something new about it.